Ferry's Dublin. We have Dean Liam. Go and do a review on John Wick Chapter 4. And listen, it's a John Wick film. So this is the fourth chapter. This is the, the fourth chapter. So basically he's gone to war with the white table. He wants his freedom. And chaos ensues. Um Everybody involved in this, like I, I just have a list of people. The there are people the he likes to work with. Yeah. The to, from the writers to the directors, all the writers were involved in action films. This reminds me of an eighties, nineties film. Proper martial arts. They took films. influence from so much eighties to nineties films, and also all the way back from the sixties to seventies. Mm. Not to mention, this is actually this was actually Lance Riddick's last ever film, so. But Lance Reddick, we will miss you. Well, Sorry big time. He was the only thing that was good in Resident Evil. He was good in a he lot of things. He was the only thing good in that. He was good in a lot of things. You got the wire. Always, you got the wire, and you've got Oz. That was a great show. I will Oz, always remember him for that one moment where he scared the shit out of Eric Andre. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was brilliant. Now, anyone who has not watched the John Wick Four film yet, pause this, go watch it, and then come back to this. We are going to discuss major spoilers. spoilers. So. Right, so we got John Wick and he comes in and he basically takes out one of the elders from the high table. He wants his freedom. The and introduction that's came. of John Wick is basically played out as the introduction of a wrestler. Where you got Lawrence Fishburne walking with the suit. He's calling Dante's Inferno and then he says, You are now in the presence of the motherfucking king! Apologies for the yeah, swearing, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. how he actually says it. Yeah. But the, opening line to that movie is the best opening line I have heard in ages. Yeah. But you see, the thing is, like, it's a John Wick film. It yeah. follows a lot of what the early John Wick films does. And it does it very well. Like, we set him up that he, he visits the, the New York Continental is being taken now. Sharon, played by Riddick, gets killed. Yeah. And it was broke me heart because I would have loved to see him more in the film. Yeah. We have Winston, Lovejoy, as I call him. <laughs> um, but we have... Um, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen yeah. plays, plays more of a... Mo he's a blind <coughs> sword... Like the blind swordsman. Mm. He's playing homage to another blind swordsman who is popular in Japan. Yes. Satoichi. He is brilliant in it. He's old friends with Donnie Yen. He has to protect his daughter. That's why he's doing the things and what yeah. he's doing. So we go to... We meet John Wick in Japan. After they blow up New York... Things yeah. blow up. He goes to Japan and fight scenes. The fight scenes, scenes in this film they are, are unbelievable. I put it up there with the red <clears throat> martial arts film. The thing about the action scenes of the John Wick movies, he fills eight graves. Yeah. Or sorry, eight graves. Yeah. Eights. The thing about it is that they can be silly, but a lot of those movies. All of those movies are so well crafted to a degree to the point where it complements the silliness. You are just in awe of watching these performers do amazing stunts. And the fact that a lot of the action is shot in continuous, clear shots instead of that quick cut stuff that you see mostly, that is so refreshing. It really shows that this was directed by a person who had years and years in stunt training. Yes, yes. He even doubled for Keanu Reeves in the Matrix movies. He was working with the people he wanted to work <coughs> with. Ian McShane's back again and said, love yeah. joy. He's always the lovable rogue. Yeah. I mean, he was he had an unbelievable part in Game of Thrones. Yeah. He's just, he was in that American Gods. He he's was just, in Hot Rod. Yeah. And he was one of the best moments in that movie. Oh, he's a steel scener. Yeah. He, he doesn't even have to do a lot. He's just brilliant. Steel scener. But so, the thing is, like, okay, John Wick then goes. So he goes to Japan. He meets his mate, Shimazu. Shimazu. Right? Yeah. And he meets his mate. So they're in the, the, the continental in Japan. And it goes off. It so incredible. from there, we see Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen is not your typical bad guy in this. He's incredible. He's doing what you got to do. Well, <laughs> he doesn't enjoy it. He's not doing it out of it. And we've got Skarsgård. Oh, the, my God. Marquee. Ah, brilliant. And he is incredible. I know he's playing the villain in so many But things. he's it's playing a different film. Did you see where he used to do it? He, 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 the way he ate and he did his coffee? He yeah. made this character a little bit mentally different. Dangerous. Yeah. Yes, mentally dangerous. But he's presented himself as a formal gentleman. Yes. And, but in reality, mm -hmm. he's like a psychopath. Yep. And it's displayed effectively in that one scene where 
with the tracker, you know? Yeah. yeah. The tracker with the Belgian dog. The dog. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. He is a good character. I, I felt from the very start, he's not going to be the villain to John Wick. No. Yeah, he's throwing at the money and the whole lot, but like, he is going to help the here. The villain to John Wick is basically everyone. And they're not villains. More vigilantes. Vigilantes. Yeah. So they ha they do an agreement and they <coughs> go to the high table and he has to walk his way back in with the Russians that he burnt his ticket with. Yeah. And he has to go off and kill the guy that killed her father. And he's like the kingpin, this guy. He's yeah. huge. He's like constantly having an inhaler. Oh, you yeah. think, but this fight the scenes. Big gun. And it was so good. Keep shooting and him the in the ass. Scenes. There's comedy now in oh, this. There but there he's, is so much elements of dark humor in it. So he has to walk his way back in as a membership, the whole lot, John Wick. So he has to do what the, the Russians do yeah. if he work. And they set him up to get killed. Yeah. It should be noted that with the comedy aspect, um, SpongeBob is a major influence on the first film. And in the fourth film, you see one of the cast members, Clancy Brown, who plays Mr. Krabs, in a role of John Wick 4. I didn't realize that. Yeah. No, no, no. He's so good. We get that going to that. Then it becomes very much the John Wick formula. Now, one thing you notice is in the first film, he was completely fluid. Yeah. But he's broken up at this stage. He's really drowned. You see it. He's, 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 he's slowing down when he's fighting. You know? he's it's getting so much more harder. But you can remember. I had it. It felt, it felt like Logan, didn't it? His last run. He, he His last run. These films yeah. are one straight after the other. There's no two week break or a year break in between these are straight one straight after the other you know yeah so he actually has not stopped fighting since his dog was killed yes and we see bill skarsgård <clears throat> constantly get people donnie yen's only doing this because he needs to protect his daughter yeah. right the tracker he turns the tracker yeah. thinks he's going to turn on him oh, i mean yeah. the scene with the knife I in the hand that scene yeah that is a brilliant scene because like even when Scar Scar's character does the most psychopathic thing to the tracker, he still remains formal because of it, and he discusses his formal and he discusses his uh, proposal as if he's a gentleman. But it's creepy and it's funny and it's horrifying at the same time, and you feel these uh, same amount of different emotions when you're watching the scene. Because, yeah, like. It's just a brilliant display of Skarsgård's character and the determination and the weakness of and the And there's tracker. a cowardness in him as well. He yeah. realises he's not martial arts, mm -hmm. gun-wise, mm -hmm. up there with them. Yeah. So they come to an agreement that basically there's going to be a duel. Oh, yeah. Duel. Right, the last, the last duel. duel in Paris. Last duel in Paris. So we see the duel and the cards and the whole lot. So it's at sunrise. Oh, yeah. So basically, between then, John Wick has to get to that park in Paris. So we see a woman with the radio again. <coughs> so there's basically a hunt on the street for John Wick. And the price is increased. The price is, is increasing. And as I said, he, he fills eight graveyards. <sighs> Easy. Eight graveyards. That's so good. We see so much of Paris being used. It, it, it was very clever and where it used. Like the scene in the architrave. So we see we see in the architrave, he gets his old car back, yeah. a car like his, and he is milling people. And when everybody's going off, and they have this thing that they bulletproof suits, so you have to shoot them in the head, or you, so it makes good. it so much harder. And the, the the thing is like, you see when they leave the shot of the architrave, oh, there's just yeah. a, a array of broken cars and broken people. He just gets away. hit by so many broken cars. But I think that displays the most interesting thing about Wick. Wick is not an indestructible, invincible kind of hero. He's broken and he's vulnerable, but he get, but he wants to get the job done. He doesn't he give does. up on what he does. And he keeps going even after, after he gets beaten up to a pulp. That's the most interesting thing about him because you really want to see him succeed because of those vulnerable qualities he has mm -hmm. yeah and like then it gets nearer the end of the film oh, and he's yeah. running out of time and he's limping he's wrecked and there's a the stairs to go up oh yeah and it really reminded me now we, we seen earlier with the nunchucks yeah the great use of nunchucks and the influence of bruce lee and the uh, the whole thing of game of death was it was meant to be like 
what we'd call yeah. a computer game now or the raid mm. you went up level 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 to get where you need to get to the, the, the big bad so he has to go up that stairs and fight his way up yeah. that stairs and he gets up there and he gets kicked down and he gets kicked down oh, and you watch him go down one you think oh you go down one flight he goes down the, the whole, whole flight. flight of stairs it's both humorous and brutal at the same time stunts in this were amazing i've incredible. seen like, like I'm, I'm 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 sure philip condren was like well because like to do one stair fall is one thing to do a whole lot and a continuous shot was unbelievable. And Donnie Yen's there. Donnie Yen it, it killed the Japanese guy. Yeah. He didn't kill the daughter. He wasn't out for that. But like he's saying, we have to get up there, John. Yeah. You know what I mean? We so he actually him. helps them up to the jewel they're going to. It's so good. And they're up there. The tracker there. John, John, we re, John, the tracker kind of gets around that. Actually, John Wick's all right. Because he had the chance to kill his dog and he wouldn't. He, try, he actually shot somebody that was trying to kill the dog. Yeah. Now, the dog, oh my God, he's so wow, vicious, man. isn't he? Yeah. Man. Oh, he grabs people <laughs> by the balls. Oh, he does everything. It's brilliant. He's, he's like, them dogs are scary, man. In tradition with the last three movies. I think Halle Berry was, had one of them. Yeah. Dogs. yeah. In Two tradition of them dogs, with sorry. the last three movies, dogs are a major motif because, as we know, since the very first movie, John Wick kills. 800 people solely because a dog was killed yeah yeah and but we get up to the jewel and of course they're all doing their agreements do you know that way so donnie yen's character kane now as i said i i, I was reading in that he wanted them to be very traditional uh chinese in dress and he says no why no. because in china we don't tradition they're traditional in the seas he dresses and i think it was suit. a it's, uh, I think it was the right choice. It's he was still Chinese though, in it, and he was badass. He was and it, still badass when he was wearing a suit. So we have the boys doing their little <coughs> their uh, duel, duel, paces. right the paces. So you're thinking you see it on the whole lot. So Donnie Yen gets his agreement. I'm out, and my daughter safe, yeah. right? And we see, it, and he gets he gets John Wick, and so we are thinking John Wick's gone. So. Bill Skarsgård, being the coward he was in this, goes, I want the coup de gras. I hope yeah. I pronounced that right. Coup de gras. Right, coup, coup de gras. I, I was pronouncing the P. So he comes up and he, he's like, right, Grant, bullet in. And he didn't realise Wick, Wick had played him. Yeah. Because they had this great little conversation about life and deaths. Mm. But previous. And like when there was a line, it was there for a reason. That's what I felt. And he comes up, so your man tries to do the barn. Boom. John Wick said he was going to get him. He got him. Yeah. You know that way. And it was Johnny, so, did, so Donnie satisfying. Yen gets his freedom, his daughter. And we see, and I'm afraid he, uh, it reminded me of Gladiator. We see John Wick, he just, right, He's am I dead. done? He's dead. He just wants to sit on it's the step. very surprising. He, and you see him visit, visit his wife in his own head. And at the end, there was some great um, so Easter eggs. Satisfying. Um, <clears throat> Lawrence Fishburne, who was the Bowery King, he has he has John Wick's dog there, his yeah. old dog. Mm -hmm. You know that way. And the two of them. And it was a great bit where they were talking about where Sharon died, Riddick died, and yeah. they said like, "What did I put on his gravestone?" He says, "I thought friends," because he was so many things. And John Wick kind of really took this in because he's a deep person and says, says loving husband loving yeah. husband because in the first film he really wanted to live a normal life and the dog was a present from the wife who yes. had, who had just died and when the dog died he really took that personally because his opportunity to have a normal life it was gone it was gone and that's the reason why he went on this killing spree mm -hmm. because he wanted he wanted vengeance. The old self that he'd been trying to repress for years was back. Yeah. And look, this is, is a great film. This is like it's silly, it's stupid. Well, it's like well, people get nailed into cars and even so well, well done to it, the point. It doesn't pretend to be anything in other than is. But it's also a really, really, really great movie, visually and technically. 
it's just arts wise cultures wise it represents all the cultures it's so still, well the russians they're the japanese Japanese. it's still funny you know, to me that even different. after john wick is dead they still want to do a fifth movie but I, I kind of hope that maybe the fifth movie should be about John Wick fighting demons in hell, <laughs> trying to reunite with his wife in heaven. Yeah. Well, maybe because they did, they did a heaven and hell bit. Where is he? Keanu Reeves, I think, wanted to finish out the character. Well, and he has. Break. He wanted yeah. a break from it. Now, there is scope on this to expand into this universe. Yeah, and Don I would Yen. like to see that. And Donnie Don Yen, 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 Yen. Yeah. 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 And I, I would like to see that. But as in John Wick... He went out the way he wanted. And they and keep talking about, bang. you're a killer, you're an animal, that's all you'll ever be. No, but he's, he's a want, human being. Exactly. He wanted and to live he, a normal life. And that's what we get. So as I said, this this film, I mean, it's a great watch. I was in it's the cinema, brilliant. it was a great watch. <coughs> it was great action. The whole series is brilliant. Give it a rating. I'll go give it a nine. Nine. A nine. I am. I am. I think I'm going to give it a... I, I'm torn between giving it a 9.5 or a 10. Maybe 10. You'd because, go with 10, yeah. Yeah, because like every every single installment of the John Wick movies is brilliant. Yeah. And it's the, it's the one action franchise that keeps aiming higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Without and higher. going like fast even, furious. Yeah. But, but it's stupidity. Still, it still goes higher and even that it still wants to break that bar. And it does it in a way that borderlines that borders on silliness. Yeah. You know? You said there are moments where it can be silly, but it's but it's complemented with such a precision in these kinds of movies that I really want to see more of in any action film and any temples. Uh, I think a lot of times now from action forward films forward and he <coughs> did it in Daredevil Brilliant. Okay, you take out 10 people but you're going to be wrecked after it. Yeah. And that should be part of action films. What What are you going to give it? I'm going to give it an 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. Only because the end of yeah, you pissed me off a little bit. It's Keanu Reeves, like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wanted a, you know a continuation, I of course. Obviously, Keanu Reeves, like yeah. I love, I love Keanu Reeves. Keanu but, like, we don't deserve we'll, him on this earth. Will Will they do the pull thing he's that he was in the grave, but he's not in the grave? That's it's, that's that's what some plots are going to go around. Oh, they can make Reeves a fifth one if they really is, wanted to. Keanu yeah. Reeves is basically the end to the Yang of Tom Cruise. Yeah. yeah, in terms of actors who do their own stunts. No, look, it was a good one. It was great. Um, as I said, we're giving it a high rating, but it, you have to give it a rating as an action film, I think. And that's ten what the rating ten. term we're giving, we're giving. So, if you give us a like and subscribe, Four Stories Dublin, Leave we're on the comments. Instagram, on the Facebook. If you comment, any uh, suggestions you'd like to say, or Cut anything. Them, post else, them, post send them, them to us. Say them. what you really would like to see. And as always, we wish you the very best of days. Cheers. Best of luck. You.